Hi guys and welcome to another video. So recently the weather in the UK has gone from glorious like summer sunshine and being 24 degrees to absolute back to winter. Like it has chucked it down for days. Um, everything's horrible so you're gonna have to excuse the state of the horses. So because I've spent most of the time inside today trying to avoid the rain at all costs, um, I thought I'd do a bit of a fun video and that is going to be a get to know my horses. So I thought that rather than just doing the normal, because I've already done um, a meet all my pets video where I tell you all their basic facts like age, height, breed, name, that will all be down below in the description because I just thought you guys will probably ask me in the comments. Um, but yeah, all the basic stuff will be down there. But I'm also going to be telling you three sort of like quirky or interesting facts about each horse um, just because obviously I feature some of them more than others and there's certain things you don't know about them um, so yeah I just thought it'd be interesting to do a little bit of a get to know my horses uh, but yeah let's jump straight into it and we'll start with Lucy so this is Lucy she is our dressage horse um, so all of her basic details will be down below but but her first interesting fact is that when we got her as a four-year-old, she actually um, was fine for a year and then had a really bad knee injury. So at five years old, she had to be turned away for a year and we turned out this kind of 15-3 um, mare and she came back in about 16 hands. Um, so she'd grown quite a bit and she used to dish really, really badly um, and we had a lot of issues with her knee, which is why we've never personally jumped her. Um, but yeah, so that's her first little fact. So Lucy is um, the one horse that we say is the most dangerous because even though now we'd actually class her as one of our most well behaved horses, she did actually break three of my dad's ribs um, and she also got my mum off once and gave her a concussion. And my mum at that point hadn't fallen off horses in about 20 odd years. And then we found her in the arena <laughs> face down um, and to this day we still don't know what Lucy did to get her off um, but yeah she did give my mum concussion but luckily touch wood she's never actually done anything to hurt me have you Lou I don't actually think I've ever fallen off Lucy a good girl so another fun fact about Lucy is that when I was younger I must have oh, I must have been quite a few years ago um, I actually taught Lucy a trick, and to this day she'd never forgotten it, and I actually forgot that I taught her it. Good gear. So the first fun fact about Chili, and you want another treat, is that we actually thought he was 16.3 when we bought him, um, and then we got him home and we measured him and he was actually just over 17 hands so obviously he is a really big boy so i'll tell you about when we got him in a second but yeah so we did think he was about 16.3 and then we got him home and we're like no he's much bigger um so chili another fact about chili um is that he has really severe allergies that most of you probably know about um so he's allergic to all types of hay apart from rye grass and alpha alpha He's allergic to oats, he's allergic to certain types of ants, he's got a massive list of things he's allergic to and we only discovered that after we bought him. Thank you. And so the final thing about Chili is I was actually at university when my mum decided she wanted to get another horse. Um, so she wanted one that she could do dressage on and that I could um, show jump. So she sent me all these ads and I really liked the look of Chili, um, but I was it was during my exam so I couldn't go try him. So I said to my mum, okay, you go try him and I trust you, if you like him, you know, get him. So my mum told me the next day that she'd been to try him, that he was really lovely um, and that she was going to buy him after the five star vetting. So he was vetted, he passed and then he came home. So he had been home a couple of days when I kept, got home from university and I walked in the stable and went, oh my God, what have you done? Why have you bought a giant? Because um, obviously I was expecting him to be about the same size as Danny because Danny's just about 16'2", 16'3". Um, and then we soon discovered 
that he was much bigger than Danny. Um, and I was like, Mum, I can't jump this. I can't. Like, I'm five foot two. But we're making it work, aren't we, big man? He's a good boy. So they are all the little facts about Mr. Chili Pepper. He's a good boy. Okay, so next we have Danny. So Danny is our retired boy. He used to be a show jumper, but he is now retired. So three fun facts about Danny are that he is absolutely obsessed with Coca-Cola. Um, for some reason, he went through a phase of trying to steal Coke bottles and used to like get the lids off them and drink them. Um, and it sent him absolutely crazy. Um, he used to do this when we were on livery yards. He's kind of forgotten about it now. But if you have a bottle that's not got a lid on, he will literally pick it up with his teeth and put his head back and drink it. Um, he really likes different drinks and we don't know why. But yeah, if he sees a bottle of Coke, he's straight onto it and he wants it straight away. So another little fact about Danny is that his show name is Golden Boy. So it was actually changed um, by his previous owner, we think. But yeah, he is very much a golden boy, um, especially with my mum. He's my mum's golden boy, so it's very, very fitting. And so another little thing about Danny is that although he looks very calm now, and he seems to have really settled down and things. He used to be an absolute nightmare. Um, he is the original diva of the herd. Sorry if you can't hear me by the way, the um, rain on the roof has just got horrific. Um, but yeah, he's the original diva of the herd. He used to be really funny about loading and we used to take him out quite a bit. So some days he'd walk on a trailer good as gold and then the next day he'd be like, not a chance it's going to take you six hours just to get me put my feet on the ramp um, and that was one of those days and he managed to get loose even though we used to load him in a chiffney um, and he managed to get loose anyway and so he was kind of like galloping about the car park and he saw me and for some reason just ran straight at me and luckily I jumped over the fence um, but he would have squashed me he would definitely have squashed me that day so that was my near death experience with Danny. But he's a good boy now. He's kind of grown up gracefully. And he's just a chilled retired boy, aren't you Dan? So as the three ponies are outside and it was absolutely chucking it down, I'm going to do a voiceover for their part. So next up we have little Caramel and she's obviously the smallest of the herd. Um, so a few little facts about Caramel that you might have picked up on. So one little fact about Caramel is that she is really head shy. Um, she absolutely hates you touching your ears or being anywhere near them. Even when you like put a head collar on her, she really, really hates it. We don't know where this has come from. She's always been like it ever since we got her. Um, but it does make it difficult like grooming her and things like that because she just doesn't want you near her head. Um, another little fact is that she is the most vocal of all the horses. I don't know if it's just my lot or the horses we've had, but I always tend to find that small ponies are the most vocal out of all of our horses. Um, our old pony James was exactly the same. And Caramel is extremely vocal. She's the first one that kind of whinnies you when you come round, uh, when she sees her food, really just any time. Like even if you take one of the horses away, um, she kind of whinnies after them and it's always her that's the vocal one. And then the third thing is that our first in-hand show with her, um, she actually reared three times, nearly kicked me in the face, but we still managed to come forth, um, which was kind of a miracle. Okay, so next up we have Taffy. So for those of you that don't know, Taffy is my retired pony. He was the pony that I used to ride at Pony Club and things like that when I was younger, so in my teens. So he is actually our oldest horse. He's 31. Um, Taffy absolutely hates being clipped. Um, he always has. We've always tried to sedate him and he always has to have more than his sedation rate because he kind of like fights it. Um, he absolutely hates it so much. He actually pulled down a barn when he was younger. Um, at a previous home when he was being clipped he literally pulled the barn down so he really really doesn't like it i don't know if he's had a trauma associated with it or if he's just or if he's just instinctively not liked it his entire life but yeah so that's why he's never clipped um and another little fact about taffy is that he's actually claustrophobic 
um we believe that one of his previous owners we're actually in touch with a lot of our horses previous owners um because we think it's really nice to keep touch and she sold him to um, a family that just really couldn't handle him so taffy was locked in a stable for a couple of weeks and they literally closed the windows and everything and just chucked hay in and then closed it um and then she had to go and like get him back because they said he was too headstrong and he is really headstrong is really like bolshy but you just have to know how to deal with him and they were obviously a family that couldn't so when he came to us he already had that kind of ingrained in him um so yeah he is actually claustrophobic and that's why his stable that he has has a window so his and caramels are the only ones with windows so that is why and last but certainly not least we have charlie so charlie is my traditional cob um he used to actually be called joey and we don't know when it changed but it says on his passport that his name is in fact joey his show name is lowther's joey so he was definitely joey at some point um we know two of his old owners i'm in contact with one and then we know the one that we bought him off um, and they both called him charlie so i really don't know where joey kind of went but at some point his name was changed but now he comes to charlie or chunk or charles or really anything if you've got food um, so another little fact about Charlie is that he point blank refuses to travel in a trailer. We cannot travel him in a trailer. I once brought him home in a trailer and it was the biggest disaster ever because he will climb over the breast bar no matter how high you set it, no matter like what you do, he just rears over it um, and it was the most horrific journey of my entire life um, and especially with my parents because my dad was driving and it was just horrible so he cannot be traveled in a trailer anywhere we thought the trailer was going to tip it was just yeah pretty horrific um and the third and final fact today is that when we bought charlie we bought him off a lady who i think was kind of just trying to get rid of him um and didn't wasn't completely truthful with us um so we bought charlie and i noticed that he kind of didn't work that well and he had good days and bad days and I was like looking into getting the vet involved in things and then an old owner actually contacted us so not the one we bought him off but like a previous one um and she said oh how is he getting on with his early onset arthritis and I said what early onset arthritis um and she was really upset because she'd sold him knowing that he had this and she'd informed the person we bought him off that he had this but they hadn't passed on that information um so that was like really upsetting for her because obviously someone had sold him to us um, and not given us the full picture, which obviously happens quite often with sales. But luckily to us, it didn't really matter. Um, so he is being treated for that. Um, but yeah, so that was a little bit of a surprise with him. Uh, we've really not been that lucky with buying horses, but that is just the way it goes sometimes, no matter if you get them vetted or not. Um, even when we've had them five-star vetted, things have cropped up so yeah that is a few little facts about all of my horses i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and it was a bit random but i just thought there wasn't really much to film today so i thought i'd make this for you so don't forget to subscribe and i will see you tomorrow at 12 bye guys